This is Twit. <laughs> they also talked about the latest version of Mac OS called High Sierra. It's available as a developer update today, a public beta this summer, and then available to all later in the year. It includes a more modern file system, APFS, which is also included in iOS. Safari will include autoplay blocking and intelligent tracking prevention. That's basically some do not track features that most other browsers already have. For pro content creators, there's Metal 2 and Metal oh, for VR. So. Metal for VR. Finally, VR that? on on Mac for, for developers. Right? <laughs> for developers. So developers could create. It's not, you know, it's not like everyone's saying, like, I'm going to get a Mac and be able to, you know, use my Oculus on it or anything. Although, well, yeah. So they didn't, they didn't list Oculus support. They did list support for Vive and then the Unreal Engine for VR. I'm assuming that means you could get this and run an Oculus or an HTC Vive off of it if you're using it as a developer platform and you have a cool $5,000 to spend to start, to start if you if you happen to be getting what we'll talk about in the next story because <laughs> it's not it's not cheap to get in on a, on a system that's you know built out to the to the sense that it could handle that type of stuff but uh but yeah it's good to see those features integrated in also the the file system which i guess ios has this new file system that was announced last year the apple file system kind of built for uh speed for ssds for flash now that's being integrated into uh into this into high sierra i have to get used to saying <laughs> high sierra it's kind of a funny name it is kind of a funny <laughs> name they did make some weed jokes that was the on stage oh yeah Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, Apple will ship new MacBooks, new MacBook Pros, and iMacs today, starting around $1,300. But the big news is what's coming in December, a $5,000 new iMac Pro with a space gray finish, a 5K display, up to an 18-core Xeon processor, up to a 4 terabyte ter terabytes of SSD, up to 128 gigabytes of ECC memory, four Thunderbolt 3 ports, and built-in 10 gigabyte Ethernet and a lot gigabit Ethernet. Thank you, Burke. And a lot of teraflops of something. <laughs> Lots of teraflops in the box. <laughs> Lots of teraflops flopping all over the place. <laughs> so five thousand dollars for this beast, which is it's it, interesting to me how how some of their categories kind of intercept and 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 cross over you know each other's line because they're saying this is the most powerful mac you know in existence right now but it's still an imac and they're they still have plans to have their mac pros come out at the end of this year or mm -hmm. the beginning of next year or whatever like they're being very vocal about the fact that you're going to be able to get an impressive beast of a macintosh uh for for uh, production, you know, your high-end like video production needs or whatever it is you need all those teraflops for, um, th that that's coming down the line. But that right now, this iMac, which is normally like kind of a consumer, le you know, less less focused on the high-end specs, more on like the convenience and beautiful factor. And now you kind of get both. This is a beautiful machine. Yeah, it's not available now. It's available right. in December. Um, so, yeah, and then I think they really listened when people said they were ignoring the Mac yeah, users it really and they were ignoring way. creators. And they were playing, you know, they're just saying, like, Here, here's this giant machine that you can spend $5,000 on or your boss can fit, spend $5,000 <laughs> on. I'll be your boss. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, and, and there's more to come. We haven't mm -hmm. forgotten you. It sounded right. like that it was a lot. Brighter displays. And you cannot get that space gray mouse or keyboard with any other of the computers besides this iMac So Pro. if you are all in on anything space gray, you're buying a $5,000 iMac. Mm -hmm. That's that's just your choice. Yep. Uh, they also, by the way, MacBook Air is still a thing. They're, they didn't get rid of that. I, I just kind of thought they were going to get rid of that. But yeah, they, they threw it out. They threw up one mention, but yes. then didn't show it, didn't talk anything more like about it's it. It's still around, whatever. Yeah, you don't there. want it anyways, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Apple Watch and iOS 11 for iPhone and iPad will get some new and exciting features this fall. And today, if you are a developer for Apple Watch, you'll get a smarter Siri reminding you of things it thinks you might want to know. A long-awaited flashlight <gasps> on the watch and some improved fitness features. And if you've ever wanted to do other workouts besides walking, running, biking, or swimming, you're in luck. I mean, you could do those workouts before. You just wouldn't get <laughs> credit for them. So what's the point? iOS on your phone will include a do not disturb while driving tool that will automatically turn on when your car connects to Bluetooth. 
Nice. Your phone will send a text response that says you're driving. And then it says, if this is urgent, reply urgent. So it'll come through if you need it to. And if you happen to be, have your phone connected to Bluetooth in a car, if you're a passenger, it just you can just say, I'm not driving. Yeah, so, I, I love that feature. Uh, I, I have an app that does that on Android and I love it. It means I don't ever touch my phone when I'm driving if, if, if something comes through. Yeah, Android Auto, Android Auto Android did that. Auto does that, that also, I yeah. love that. And, you know, it's just a different screen. It's just that extra reminder that I need just mm -hmm. because your brain, you know, your Apple Watch haptic feedback takes right. over and you think you need to look at it and you yeah. don't. And I'm as guilty as anyone. So I'm happy for this. I mean, we've had this discussion. People don't like to be forced to do anything. And so if you are one of those people, you can turn it off. If you are driving, you can say, I'm not driving. That's up to you. We still live in a free country. Uh, but yeah. I am happy for more people who will use this as just another reminder to um, single task, omnitask <laughs> when you're driving. I like that. I like that tech, uh, that uh, that phrase. Uh, Siri also getting, like you said, some improvements around speech, clearer human speech, clearer intonations, also a bunch of translation support so you can cross translate between uh, languages and then follow up questions. I think that's kind of a big deal in improving Siri, right? I feel like that's one big strength of, of Assistant is that you can kind of go down a path of, of kind of being a little bit more conversational by f following up on things and having it understand what you were talking about from the previous you know set of queries that actually ties into it. it makes it a little bit more human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was definitely one, another one of those moments where, you know, as an Android user, you could say like, uh, we've had this, guys. Um, but same with being able to speak translations. Mm -hmm. That's something that's in Assistant that I've been using on Assistant on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, if you say, where is the bathroom? Um, how do you say, where is the bathroom in Chinese? It will say it. Mm -hmm. So you can say it again instead of just- go up to someone and go, play. <laughs> And just hold up the or phone. you could repeat it <laughs> or you could press play or but you know you could you repeat it as opposed to it just saying like here's what i found on the web about yeah. where's the bathroom in chinese yeah not helpful siri uh the ios 11 on the ipad had some really exciting features made me want to try again to give this up and try to use my iPad Pro as a laptop, there's a file system. Mm -hmm. So not very sexy to talk about, you know, the, the file system and being able to view your files in list form. But it's exciting if you really need to use your iPad as a production tool, um, whatever, you know, if you're a writer or any kind of creator, this yep. being able to see your files, doing drag and drop. Um, he, they called it a, uh, a drag fest, which <laughs> I think okay. some people, especially in our neck of the woods would consider not something else a drag fest, but you can drag everything everywhere <laughs> if you want to, uh -huh. which is good. Cause they, you know, they promised all these multitasking features right. last year, the year before, and they're still wonky. So I'm hoping for an improvement. Um, in that searchable handwriting and notes. So if you still know how to write by hand or with your Apple Pencil, you can write notes mm -hmm. and then they're searchable on your iPad, which is great. Um, and presumably they're searchable across iCloud since notes are also in the iPhone. What else? There was, um, oh, here's something they did not get up on stage and announce, but I saw in Axios, Facebook and Twitter will now be treated uh, as different apps in iOS. It used to, they used to have a little bit more access um, you could like through the photos app, you could post something to Twitter or Facebook more directly. Yeah. Oh, easily. Okay. And they're going to, uh, withdraw that, which I thought was an interesting thing that was huh. uncovered. Um, they'll have to rely on the same sharing extensions. And I know your month with iOS, you probably learned that the, they don't make it easy to share. Yeah. Uh, that was definitely one of the things that I noticed, but, um, I didn't realize that they had a special kind of relationship with, uh, Twitter and Facebook. It, probably fair to you know put them on the same same level as as other developers who mm -hmm. are trying to do the same thing so. also a redesigned app store which uh, oh, yeah. was uh, they they promoted it as a you know more discoverable mm -hmm. but i saw it more as like um discovering more about the apps it was it looks like apple music or it looks like um basically a magazine where you'd look through and read um you know about the creators of monument valley because that's another thing monument mm -hmm. valley 2 came Two. out today um but, Only for iOS. But they didn't say anything. They didn't say any improvements about search, which I would like to be able to search in the App Store right. and not get garbage. We all want that when we search to not get garbage. So mm -hmm. I think that's a lofty goal.